Thank uh, God you were uh, down further. Yeah, really more of this pile of this. It's going to be more than a pile. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. I want everybody back up on the sidewalks, okay? Uh, National Trade Express. Yeah, you can hear good. <laughs> Alright, sir, what's your name? Diego. How do you spell that? D-I-E-G-O. Okay, and what happened here in Brea? Uh Tonight we were asleep, it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we heard this loud noise, it woke us up, and uh, I knew that uh, some, my truck was parked up here, so I came out to check it out, and I find out that this uh, large semi uh, just scraped everybody's car, uh, including mine. And we're just now out here waiting for the police to give us a report so we can uh, call our insurance and try to get this uh, resolved. Okay, and wh when you heard the noise, you came outside. What, did you see the driver of the truck? Or? No, uh, at this point, I haven't even seen him. Uh, uh, we just saw a lot of rumble, and by then, the police was trying to, uh, starting to arrive, and, uh, and that was that. It's crazy. So you found your truck is totaled. Mm -hmm. So all your neighbors here, everybody's car yeah. basically got hit along the street. Correct. Oh, that's crazy. It's not the first time it happens either. Uh, it's been happening like off and on, like every two yeah. years or something. Really? But this is the first time that we see such a large car traveling at such a speed down here. And it's just amazing how a semi truck was involved. Yeah. Who knows if he was falling asleep and drunk? Who knows? It, yeah. <laughs> it, I don't think he's as drunk, but he looks like he could have been, I don't know, under the influence of medication or something. I heard that the uh, police were interviewing him, and he didn't even remember getting off the freeway, so he he wasn't he didn't know, even know where he was at this point. Well, and your name one more time, sir. Diego. Can you spell that real quick? D-I-E-G-O. All right, thank you. No problem.